Alright. Alright, this is uh, Wario Land 3, a game for the Game Boy Color, released in the year 2000. <laughs> With me on the couch, I have ESG Puppet Master. He ran Wario Land 2 last year. That's correct. Uh, my girlfriend, Olivia, and Bounce Girl, good friend. <laughs> <clears throat> so should we go with the story or is that yeah wait story? Wh what are you doing right now you're holding a button aren't you yeah yeah why is that <laughs> so <laughs> we're already like five <laughs> seconds into the run and the strats <laughs> in the cutscenes if he holds uh, the direction he's walking he's walking faster for some reason yeah and it saves what, a second? A second, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, nice. so the story. What's the story in this game? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What's your <laughs> job? <laughs> What's it's, it's all Japanese. What's, what is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's so hard to tell. Why did you pick Japanese in the first place? Oh, well, it's <laughs> mostly because we're just, all of us, huge fans of anime, right? That's right. Anime. Kawaii. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> oh, it saves about a second. Yeah. Overall. So ah. much for that second. Okay, so much. Uh, uh, yeah, there's not okay. a whole lot of stuff to say <laughs> about this first level. It's basically just optimizing the movement, right? Yeah. yeah. So you're gonna. Actually, it's yeah. one of the hardest levels uh, in terms of movement this one um, that's correct yeah but not a lot more than that going on uh, other than the, the, the rarest RNG so rare. in the yeah. world <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the chance is like one in 15 20 or something yeah, yeah. that's oh well. like 10 seconds or something but yeah, you, earlier you saw him grabbing a key. That's to open this chest and unlock the first treasure yeah, of the game. Yeah, it's all about unlocking the treasures. Yeah. Some of the treasures unlock new levels, some of them unlock stuff in the same levels, and some of them unlock new abilities for Wario. Exactly. Like jumping yeah. higher, throwing enemies, stuff like that. So right now, Wario isn't able to do a whole lot at all. But... Uh, as he progresses, uh, he'll be able to do a whole lot of shit, such as <laughs> jumping higher and smashing blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you'll see. Okay. Coming up is the first um, big sequence break in this level. Hmm. Okay, so... I'm grabbing the red key currently. And I'm not supposed to be able to grab it yet. Above me is an enemy called a donut here. He, th he uh, throws donuts, which turns Wario into fat Wario. Um, um, and that enables me to um, destroy those big blocks. And, and you see him uh, grabbing the red coin here. Uh, it gives him some extra coins, which I'll need for minigame later. So that was uh, the first wall jump of the game. You'll see him doing a lot of wall jumps throughout the game. Here he's gonna try to get uh, a clip, but he didn't quite get it, unfortunately. It it's skips a, a fat cycle, which yeah. is... Which is about 10, 10 seconds, seconds, but yeah. it's it's a YOLO trick. You have yeah. one shot and... Mm. Yeah. It's good. Oh yeah, we, we grabbed the... Um, the thing I was about to say um, about the donuts here. By jumping in the corner, there's just like, I don't know, a few pixels mm. where you can the donut can hit, um, where you can bait the donuts here to throw a donut at That's you and correct. hit Wario. And that basically allows for the sequence break. So I'm gonna enter the same level again to get um, the normal gray chest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Back up strats mm, for that. Okay. <laughs> Rarely have something, but. <laughs> Uh, it's yeah. good, it's good. Something else you might notice is that levels are on a day-night cycle, so whenever you enter a level um, and exit it, uh, the, yeah, the time will have changed. So right now it's day, uh, the last time you entered it was night, and that kind of alters uh, the layout of the level. Yeah, man, it's hot! 
<laughs> so now he's actually getting the treasure he was supposed to get after the first level. Yeah. But since he did the sequence break, it's the third treasure he picks up. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, the movement on the um, overworld can be quite precise sometimes. So this level is like, oh yeah, Wario is like Wario Land 3 is kind of more like a puzzle platformer. It is. Um, so in this level, we go invisible to um, get past um, walls that have eyes, and they close or shut if they see Wario. So. Yeah, yeah. In general, Wario has a lot of different forms. Uh, you've already seen uh, Fat Wario, and in this level, Invisible Wario. But you're gonna see a lot more throughout yeah. the run. Hopefully, so yeah. only the intended forms. <laughs> yeah, and you might notice that the key was right next to the chest, but unfortunately, we cannot open the chest if we're invisible. So I had to mm. go through a pipe. Exactly. And going through pipes turns you visible again. Just like Did in real life. That? Did you know? Just that? like in real yeah. life. Just like in real life. Yeah, this game is very realistic. Did mm. we mention that? It is. So, some good stuff. So the next few levels are pretty straightforward. Coming up right here is a tricky um, wall jump to save a little time. In here, mm. the setup um, was found by Bickeret, another runner of this game. Yep. Uh, let's go. If you get this first oh, yeah. try, it saves about four and a half seconds. Yeah, so this that was still. This still quite saves good. time. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, sometimes <laughs> the all wall jumps are uh, pixel perfect, so you have to send um, the correct spot. Mm. And to top that off, it's also right here. Perfect. You'll see him sliding below that coin. If he picks it up, it's an extra I don't know how many seconds um, at the end of the level. So it's that's uh, why you two point two point seconds. Point. Yeah, exactly. So a little bit of movement <coughs> trouble here is pretty tricky session um, section of the game, but. Yeah. Yeah, the um, the wall jump is fixed perfect and frame perfect, so mm. it's uh, it's not easy. <coughs> so we're entering the same level again for another chest. Now it's night time, so that means I can go this way. This um, wall is, is yeah, open, the door so. is open. Later in the game, you can just destroy the door, but not at this point. This level too has some uh, pretty tough movement, mm. but I like it a lot. Yeah, it looks really good when you. It pull looks it like off. I could have just went all the way up the ladder like instantly, but <coughs> you you, it's you just can't. Not yeah. The test, the test can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, my test fingers are not home today. Uh, they're resting. Yeah. So next level is um, <coughs> the first boss in the game. He's uh, very annoying. He has it's it's random, completely random what pattern you get, and some of them can be very annoying. So I'm gonna Devastating. try <laughs> try yeah. to be very careful. You can get a cool uh, roll here at the start. Hopefully, uh -huh. oh, you didn't get quite it. get it, but you can just keep the roll yeah. all the way to the key. Yeah, he's about to enter the boss room. Here goes. Mm. So, fingers crossed. Okay. Ooh, this pattern is annoying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I'm just playing it safe now. It's uh. I got a very annoying pattern. But <laughs> yeah. Well, it's better than failing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you fail, Definitely. you have to re-enter the room and time. And yeah. you're forced to grab the coin. Which you adds another 2.2 seconds That's in the end of the level. Yeah. That's the worst thing, actually. Mm. They force <laughs> you to grab that coin. Oh. Evil, evil. Evil, evil design. On, <laughs> um, beside, you know, 
other than it's actually you're meant to grab the coins. But yeah, yeah. Oh. evil design for speedrunners. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> well, I guess we've got time for a donation now. Yeah, haven't we? Yeah, <laughs> actually, go ahead. It's a great time. So, is it guitar? Okay. So we got a 50 US dollar donation from Anonymous. Thank you very much. We also got 20 US dollars from another Anonymous saying, only just recently learned about the ESA Marathon. I must say, great run so far. Keep up the good work and good luck to all the runners. And we got two US dollars from Chaos Zero saying, I think we need a good old Waluigi wah from the couch. <laughs> okay. I, I can barely hear. Oh, okay, uh, we, we need a wah. <laughs> Uh, wow. So three, two, two one. one. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So okay, coming up is annoying RNG. Very annoying RNG. Yeah. We've it's got uh, mini golf. Um, it's good stuff. There's five different courses he can get. Uh, one of them is ideal, and hopefully he'll get it. Uh, uh, this, this I think, yeah, this is the one I really hate. Okay, so yeah. let's just see how it goes. Hmm. So even if he plays this perfectly, he's still gonna lose time. Ah. Um. Yeah. Oh, oh good. Great, great, great. At least he got it. Yeah, yeah I, was, I, w I was scared. <laughs> yeah. It's Not always scary. I, I was scared going into. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so one of the levels, one of the five levels you can get is a, is a hole in one hole level. In one so stage. Of yeah. course, that's a lot faster. Hmm. But that's entirely up to RNG. Yeah. RNG in this game changes every second frame, um, and there's no way to manipulate it, at least for this uh, level. Okay, so yeah, all the cutscenes we're seeing is when we get an item that does something, like opens a new stage, or... And this is clouds, raining. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... This next level... There's a strat that you can get if you line this up real quick. Ah, didn't get it. He didn't quite get it, but you can like do an enemy wall jump of sorts uh, and get up there just a tiny bit faster. It's quite a risky strat though, because you have yeah, like no time uh, to line it's up. It's actually it's pretty safe. Um, I usually go for it yeah, once, yeah, but. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can feel yeah. it. Okay, so no big right. deal. So sometimes um, me and the GameCube controller are not the best friends. Some of the buttons, like you, you have to be serious uh, when you press these buttons sometimes. <laughs> so uh, what happened happened was that I missed. Um, the dash button, so he just jumped and see this is a long jump and this is a like a normal jump so oh yeah and by the way the fastest way to move in this game is actually just running unless your name is Taz yeah um, it's like a very difficult technique mm. that is saves you like a couple of frames so Unless you have to get to like a platform that's higher, in that case it's ideal to do a, a dash jump rather than a, a normal jump, but it all depends. So I'm getting some bad RNG there. When yeah. you push the boiler, it's um, random how far you push it. Um, and I want it to go as far as possible. I did it backwards because then I avoid um, knockback, which means that I can push it faster. Mm. So some, something that's really cool about this game is that it has a lot of sequence breaks and each of them are quite unique in the way that they are executed. And that's something you'll see in this next level where we really start to break the game. Yeah, v very cool glitch uh, coming up. It's incredible um, that we can do this actually. Mm. It's 
Super technical how it works. We'll try to cover it as good as we can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's the same level again, and we're going to play around with the boiler, the one that I just pushed. Okay, so this time I'm going up here to grab, um, we need the red key, which is located in here. Oh, <laughs> fat fingers. <laughs> Scary stuff. <laughs> Yeah, there's flamethrower guys, always scary. If you get hit, it's so much time down the drain. Ah, oh, I didn't get it. Um, Say it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a trick that works. We have a name for it in Danish, but uh, which is quite funny. But I guess it's translated to hot butter in the summer. <laughs> um, because oh, right. if you um, if you um, when you break the blocks, if you dash jump into them um, with uh, one frame, like you, you press dash and then one frame after you press jump, that will allow you to break them without getting knocked back. Yeah. Um, so you can just keep going. Yeah, so you, you can just, just like fly through them, just as like if <laughs> it was melting butter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so coming up. I'm gonna save uh, before I do it because you can soft lock if you're unlucky. And yeah, we are it's probably just unlucky. not worth it going for it. It's all up to Angie, basically. Yeah. So we're actually in a normal run. We would also be saving a couple of places in the game. So right now this is RNG. Oh, oh that's really good. Crazy, crazy good RNG. Great RNG. Um, so right now I am the exact same spot in the level. Hmm. Oh, it's so complicated to explain. Yeah, now. Yeah, we have yeah. no time. Um, we're basically in the same spot um, in the level, but like the the tiles have shifted, which uh, allows the enemies to spawn here, which they're not supposed to, and that allows him to do a wall clip and then turn into zombie warrior, <laughs> and finally get to like a spot he's not supposed to get to yet. Yeah, yeah, and. Through the use of that, he can get to this boss early, which is a major sequence break. Yeah. Basically, we want when when we clip into a wall as normal Wario, we'll just be stuck inside a tile. We can jump out again, but we cannot like jump or sip or anything. So, but what we can do is that if Wario changes states, there are several states. The one once we use um, in this run is Fat Wario and Zombie Wario, and if he gets turned into Zombie Wario, Fat Wario. It uh, then allows you to jump up one tile at a time, hmm. one block at a time. So what we did actually was spawn zombies so we could clip into the wall and jump up all the way hmm. to skip um, head bash. Because normally to get there, we would had to have the ability to destroy blocks with uh, our head. So yeah, we, yeah. we just skipped that. And the reason that's possible is because when you're just a normal warrior, it if there's a tile above your head, it forces you to crouch. But when you're in uh, fat warrior form or zombie warrior form, uh, there's no crouch uh, yeah, state. Yeah. So it basically just allows you to jump the entire time. So this one, this level is one of the hardest uh, mm. execution-wise. So um, these wall jumps are extremely, extremely hard. It's double frame perfect because we have so little space. Um, just so you have to turn around. You can't just charge at the wall and hope for the best. You yeah. need to charge away from it, dash away from it, turn around. And it's just, it's really tricky. This took me hours, days of practice. Um, mm. And it's actually going quite well right quite now. Quite well. Also, you might have noticed he got uh, set on fire at the beginning. That's actually the faster way of getting to the key at the end. Yeah. Your run uh, running speed is okay. increased. That was that was that decent, was I'd say. Really good. Decent, yeah. yeah. Decent. Really decent. It really decent. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. So normally the pixel you want to stand at is further away from the wall, but we do not have that space. And the reason why we needed to do all this, uh, can I say crap, is <laughs> because we skipped swim. So mm. we can't swim yet, and normally um, we're required to swim to yeah. beat that level. Yeah. 
So I guess we could cover how <laughs> the upgrade system actually works. It's it's so perfect uh, for sequence breaks in this game. So for upgrades uh, or new abilities, they use a single variable, which means that, like, say you have no upgrades, it's zero. You have one. The next one is one, and then you have like the fourth one. Then the vari variable will just be four. So that mm. means you have that one and all the previous. So if we exactly. skip treasures and skip uh, upgrades and get um, a later upgrade, we have all the previous upgrades. So in this game, we're actually only picking up uh, three in total. And I think there's nine. I can't remember. So yeah, <laughs> we're skipping a lot of them. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we have time for a donation real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, we have 10 US dollars from It's Freddy Fish. I just had to donate during this run. I have been watching Protein stream forever now. Greetings from It's Freddy Fish. <laughs> I could, like, hear half of that. Oh, okay. But I guess it was good. Greetings <laughs> from It's Freddy Fish. From who? It's Freddy Fish. Who's it's Freddy been Fish. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Freddy watching Fish. your stream from my stream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah. So that's a short time save here. Uh, just by standing in a specific spot and jumping, you can get the key uh, in a much more convenient way. Basically. Yeah. Normally you'd have to go above the blocks. Yeah. Inside that tiny gap. So it's just a small time saver. Fat fingers again. <laughs> no, it's uh, false buffering. Don't. Yeah. 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 Uh, IG manipulation. Absolute, absolute this necessary. this boss. Uh, <laughs> you really need to. <laughs> oh, see, he spawned on the right, which is ideal. He wouldn't have without the pulse buffer. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, this is, I'd say, the easiest boss in the game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's um, by standing in the opposite side of the platform, you can manipulate him to always spawn the same place. Hmm. Oh yeah, the plot is about uh, <laughs> <laughs> collecting five music boxes um, to unlock uh, some dude's powers. Um, there was a guy talking to us in the beginning, but it, it turns out in the end that he was the bad guy all along and we have to fight him. Spoilers. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we only actually collect four, right? Yeah. yeah. Because collecting the last one Counts tricks the yeah. game into <laughs> thing, just like the upgrades. I just um, entered a level that wasn't even unlocked, but it was because the pointer from another level was unlocked. Yeah. The game, because we skipped things, the game thought that. Okay, I'm just trying a cool new strat. Um, but it's RNG, you know, everything that has to do with the boiler is RNG. Yeah. And again, you see him trying to set this up by standing on a specific pixel before yeah. doing the wall jump. Otherwise, it just won't work. My forehead is like a shower. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's good. <laughs> okay, so coming up now is an extremely difficult setup with uh, frame perfect, um, yeah, wall clip again. So, this usually takes some tries, and we can't predict how many, but let's just hope it won't be too bad. And again, you'll see him uh, make use of the fat warrior form this time to like keep gaining height while inside the wall. You'll see in a bit. Okay, so I save because it loses an insane amount of time if we fail, which we probably will. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just trying until it works. It's too early. Almost. But this is also one of those levels that's really messed up. Yeah. <laughs> in terms of how we see okay, break. So, yeah, yeah, and the, the thing why this was so difficult is because I have to time the donut throw so I can grab it just as I clip inside the wall. Because yeah. when you're crouched, uh, which I will immediately be when I clip inside the wall, then you cannot, um, the, the donut will just fall off, won't work. So I have to time it like just as I clip inside the wall. 
Yeah, so we use that to jump uh, out of bounds and... Yeah. <laughs> Going um, directly out of bounds now, actually outside of the level in memory, so stuff will be messed up um, It'll get weird in, in a few track. seconds. Yeah. I'll save also, because you can really mess things up out here. Okay. Yeah. So norm this is somewhere I would know I normally wouldn't save uh, in a run, but so I hit a switch there just once. Yeah. I need that. I, it's uh, kind of hard to tell, but that blue tile is actually uh, a switch. Yeah, you just I got the, yeah, nice. And that saves so much time. Yeah, uh, so because of the way you're supposed to to beat this level. Yeah, definitely. Y you can't get the red key normally uh, right here, but because hit. he hit that switch, it's exactly. unlocked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. So coming up now is another cool new strat. If I can get it, it's frame perfect. Ah, ah. didn't get it. You can actually get a jump there. Yeah, some serious uh, focus time right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you don't get that right, you just waste so much time. So actually, I messed up a little, because when you're on fire, you want to jump as little as possible, because you're on a timer, uh, which counts down when you're on the ground. So when I'm in the air, nothing happens yeah. uh, for, you know, turning me normal again. Got the swag jump. Mm. Avoiding the coin. Don't want that. And oh. a cool corner boost. I think it saves, like... One or two frames or something? Yeah. It's, it, the game it's has some it. kind of um, nice little thing that if you're almost um, like next to a roof, it will just quickly sip you to the right. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. And also uh, right here, you can just tell how many power-ups he just unlocked by getting that one treasure. Oh, yeah, that's he went power straight from uh, uh, like only having ground pound to now having everything up to the, the power yeah, dash, isn't we it? We can now swim, we can destroy blocks with our head, and we can throw enemies, small yeah. enemies, and we'll get another upgrade in the end. Yeah. I guess that's time for a donation. Yeah, go ahead with the donation. All right. We have $10 from Sir Elby saying, Love Watch Pro T Tore, Speedrun Vario Land 3, and the cause of this event is great. I hope I can make a difference with my donation. Go Tori! <laughs> also, another 10 US dollars from him, saying, I spelled my name wrong. Well, you deserve another donation anyways. Tori time! <laughs> Thank you for that. I tried to really listen carefully. <laughs> I think I got them on something. Yeah. So this level is just a maze of blocks. Um, that's all there is to it. No, in the end, we're gonna attempt to do um, <laughs> yeah. a, a complete boss skip with a wall jump. Mm. Coming up right here. Oh, nice. Yeah. Great. So that skips a boss. 20, about 22 or 23 seconds, I mm. think that saves. Normally, you're supposed to jump down and then fight a, a squid kind of boss. Yeah. Um, and then it's it's a fairly quick fight, but obviously skipping it is much faster. Yeah. Well, yeah. Coming up next is my favorite boss in the game. Mm. It's a great boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, actually, <laughs> we hate this boss. There's a lot of RNG and. It can uh, go so very wrong <laughs> yeah, if you're unlucky. Yeah, we'll just explain it when. So since we can swim now, we're gonna go for a swim. So grabbing the key. Yeah. Um, as always, and then going back around through that door that was above. Something that has us here is actually swimming against the current, but it's something that's just not possible on console. It requires you to push um, 
like right and left at the same time, and you can't do that on console. Okay, so the thing is with this guy, in the beginning he will throw two dust balls, which I can't use for anything, so I'm just gonna try my best <laughs> and avoid them. And then he will throw like kind of a Goomba thing, and that's what I can use. So the, the big RNG here is like I have to wait for him sometimes. He decides when he wants to throw them. Sometimes yeah. it's super quick, sometimes we just wait for. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's so normal. So far, it's decent. And the last one is can be pretty tough sometimes. I just have to be on the side of him that is closest to the wall, so behind him, yeah. basically. Yeah, otherwise I'll get hit by this one. Okay, yeah, oh, okay, <laughs> got, got it, got it. Yeah. That was a decent fight. Yeah, if you get hit, it's a lot of time down, down the drain, so... Oh yeah, and coming up next is the scariest level in the entire game. It's because it has one wall clip that is so extremely difficult so yeah, yeah. this can take mm. <laughs> this can it take it can take ages you can get it first try <laughs> yeah it's let's just hope we won't it's just so uh, spend too much time here it's hard to tell uh, what you're doing wrong if you're not getting it because you're off screen the entire time so yeah Ah. ah. Nope. But yeah, he's basically doing a wall buff, pulse buffered uh, wall clip right here, just to get that extra bit of height. Please, 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 please. No. Ah. This level has killed many runs. Okay. Ah, too early, too early. It's just, uh, it's frame perfect and we can't see Wario, so mm. that's why it's so tough. Thank you. Oh, cool. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. It's still alright. Oh, man, I <laughs> I can't even explain the relief. Yeah, we we could be sitting here for hours. Yeah. Well, of course we can be sitting here <laughs> for hours, but <laughs> yeah, this this can go on forever, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gotta watch out for that. Sometimes that bubble comes early. Um, depends on my movement, so I might have been a few pixels off or something. Mm. My normal route. But yeah, like, not only does he have to turn around on the perfect frame, he also has to press, uh, like, the opposite direction and pulse at the same time. Oh, yeah, uh, and, the and that's something that's so hard to, like, judge, because yeah. you can't really see Wario. What I'm actually doing is, yeah, I'm pressing, um, I'm making him turn back, and then one frame after that I'm pressing pause, because mm. when I unpause, then I have to press back against the wall again. Yeah, yeah. You basically just clip into the wall with the dash, cancel the dash, uh, and then turn around again just to to make sure he's inside the wall still. Alright, so new strats coming up. Let's see if yeah. we can get it. Slightly faster strat for this, but it looks so sweet. Ah, almost, almost. <laughs> Pretty good. Cool. I'm sweaty. <laughs> I don't know about you. Might be because I'm concentrated and it's super hot in here. Yeah, yeah. It is. I mean, you're it's sitting hot. next to me. It's hot. Okay. Oh yeah, this next level is the first level where we store a wall jump in water. Because That's when right. you, if you dash jump, 
or dash into the water from a certain pixel, um, which varies a lot. So we just find them in practice and then yeah. use them. Then you can store a wall jump and carry it with you in the water and use it later. Even so. when entering at all, it carries over. So hopefully you'll see him getting the first one right here. Um, you'll see after he leaves this room. Ah, not quite, but can still get it. Oh yeah, fat fingers again. <laughs> Actually, just to be safe, um, gonna use the old way because yeah. the pixels are very small for me here. So, whoa, 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 whoa. what yeah, I gotta he do needs here is to be it? careful here because yeah. he might lose the the state if he gets hit. Okay, got oh, it. Okay, cool. Normally, you cannot jump. Um, out from the water and then crouch. Normally I'd have to go all the way around, but what happened, happened was that I, I clipped into the wall and it zipped me up into the block and allowed me to enter the, the gap. So that saves about 10 seconds over the normal uh, method. Okay. Um, so now the, the beginning of this level is the exact same as before, but when we go out of bounds, we're gonna do something different. Because we're gonna go to yet another place that we haven't unlocked because we want to be fast and we don't have time for unlocking. Yeah. See if we can get it ah. this time. No, it's not. It's a cool strat of despawning the boiler and saving a couple seconds. Yeah, yeah. So, we have time for some donations yeah, here because it's ahead. basically the same as the last visit. All right, uh, five dollar donation from Warm for Real. Shoutouts to my main girl Amanda Hagenkiss, and ten US dollars from I'm Kenneth, saying, "What up, G? I'm Kenneth here. I have a challenge for you. Get this spider skip in first try, oh, and I'll uh, donate another ten dollars. Good luck, homie." <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Get the spider skip in first try. Um, the spider skip is super random because it's such a precise. Everything in this game is so precise, man. And it's right at the end too, so... It's yeah, it's, it's right at the end. It's the worst run killer ever. Yeah. But yeah, we're gonna try first try again from anything. If you've got any more donations, go ahead. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. So yeah, once again, going out of bounds. Yep. I stand on a specific pixel just to make sure that everything works. I've had some bad experiences yeah. in my past with that. <laughs> like I see every other runner, uh, yeah, they, runner they, they just dash and it works. But for me, when I go. just, you know, <laughs> quickly dash, um, that pneumo is, what is like, mosquito thing. Yeah. It won't... Um, <laughs> mosquito squid. Yeah. <laughs> won't hit me, so... Uh, blow me up. Yep. <laughs> So yeah, okay, so by so standing on that pixel, I'm um, absolutely certain that it will always blow me up. Mm. So this is the part where it's slightly different from the last visit to this stage. Um, you'll see in a bit. Uh, you'll see some funky okay. step dancing from Yeah, step Mario. dancing. It's because um, tiles and blocks are reappearing all the time for, yeah, reason, yeah. for some reason. Because so again, he's like out of bounds. He's in a trash area where it's just like random memory addresses. So I saved again because stuff can go wrong and this is already looking a little bad. Yeah, that's I'm yeah, it's easier to, mm -hmm. to try that again. So what I wanna do is go over here and Yep. This is what I wanna do, man. <laughs> and no, avoid this Oh yes, don't worry, everything is partly under control. Yeah. It's all so he's good. just don't gonna worry. step down his way down here. Ah. No Warios were harmed. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna make another save here because I can also uh, ruin this. Yeah. There's just so much that can go wrong in this game, so it's better to yeah. just save. Actually, there's also warps that just directly delete your save. And exactly, so yeah. you're, you're not even entirely safe. Yeah. Three. 
three. Right? Four? I hope so. Oh yeah, we're good, we're good. <laughs> and uh, we had to do all that to find this warp out in the garbage uh, stuff. So if he's not careful here, he can actually get thrown all the way back to, to like the start of the stage. Um, so he needs to be super careful yeah. during this next part. You might think I can't get out now, but the, the yeah, blocks the, aren't there. The, but the blocks aren't there. Doing this glitch for some reason ruins some of the destructible blocks um, for the rest of the run. Yeah, it just messes up the graphics. Uh, I think you'll see it in a few more spots. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just playing it safe here. Yep. There's a strat you can like drop on that lightning orb or whatever that is and that get straight to the chest, but you risk losing minutes. Yeah, it saves. I don't know how much it saves. <laughs> so little. Yeah. So little. So little. But that was a very good uh, yeah. level actually. That's a very hard stage. Mm. All right. Another water wall jump coming up saves about, I don't know, 25 seconds maybe? Yeah, it's quite significant yeah. since you have to go uh, press the switch and then grab the key and then go back, press the switch again, right? So what I have to do is, in when I'm in the water, I have to go all the way up against the wall and then just move one pixel away from yeah. the wall. And it can sometimes be very tough to see if it was one pixel or two pixels or no pixels. So I failed the first one, but it's easy, easy reset up. So it still saves a lot of time. Oh, the intended way of beating that level. <laughs> no. Next level here has been there's been added like a lot of small tweaks, new strats, small strats to this level. Yeah. Um, and again, you'll see the blocks just staying there even though he's destroying them. It's just a, a visual glitch. Yeah, good stuff. So normally, um, we need we needed another upgrade here. We needed the the power ass dump. Can we call it that? <laughs> yeah, let's just um, to do this. That is and what it is. This is a very cool strat because it's it's not a glitch or anything. It's just you know baiting baiting the mosquito to follow us inside that room. It's just something the developers didn't think of. But yeah, those platforms behind that big frog don't ask me why it's a frog. Um, you had to like bounce the frog all the way up and then jump on it in the top, but um, we skipped, yeah, you know, we're skipping upgrades. Yeah. So. yeah. And this uh, lets us get the final upgrade and thus unlocks every upgrade leading up to that. Yeah, if so you look in the bottom of the screen, we now have all upgrades and yeah. we only collected three <laughs> throughout the game. And um, go ahead with a donation. Yeah. Right now. Um, we got. Another donation from Sir Alp saying, Go Tori, go. Best of luck with the infamous spider yes. skip. Just go we for have it. Any? $10. Yeah, he's reading it. Oh. <laughs> it's just super quiet. I'm deaf. <laughs> I'm deaf and sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> So even though these wall gyms are like frame perfect at 60 FPS, you can really get the timing down and get them nearly every time. Yeah, but I'm starting to think actually. That's correct. Um, yeah. If if you hit like if you're one frame too late, you can still press uh, backwards. Oh, fat fingers again. <laughs> one more frame than like two for for two frames and still get so. I guess maybe you could call it two frames, but I'm, I'm actually very puzzled about it. For the most time, it's, it's a single frame trick. Yeah. Different timings for different frames, really. Ah.
a scary Wario. Yeah. This is because now we have the super ass dump. Looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> Man! Those fingers. Yeah, those what have you been eating? Those fingers, man. Oh. Okay. So we have to flick switches all the time to, um, like, make these red blocks appear or disappear. And now we're off to the final level. Ooh. With the spider skip, so the, it's the final, it's the final, it's the last boss before the final boss. Oh, yeah, yeah, the final boss Basically, before the yeah. final boss. You get the um, last uh, music box from fighting the spider or skipping it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It <laughs> has a super cool skip, but it's super precise yeah. and it saves 45 seconds. So mm. we're gonna go for it and give it. Uh, a good amount of tries. Yeah. Actually, something that is very, very, very sad is um, it's not that long ago I sat down with Puppet and we found an out of bounds strat in this uh, level. Because in this level, level we're, we're going up uh, climbing a tower and mm -hmm. we have to grab the key they chose to place the key outside of the tower. That means we have to fall all the way down. And then do the same yeah, level once again. Yeah, something you'll see in a bit. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we found an out of bounds strat that allows us to get the blue key and stay in the tower um, without leaving it. But it turned out, fortunately, that it was between five and ten seconds slower. So yeah, yeah. It does look really cool, though. Yeah, it's a cool strat, <laughs> but it's slower. Yeah. Fortunately. But something that's definitely not slow is the skip that's coming up in a sec. So, look forward to that. <laughs> okay, so I've been doing two other online marathon runs of this game. And I haven't been able to get this skip <laughs> in any of them, so I can't promise anything. But, uh, <laughs> hopefully, this time. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> so that, that was extremely, extremely yeah. precise, and it's a miracle that I got that <laughs> skip. Oh. Great. So, so good job. what it is that you in this game, you can jump on, you can throw enemies or th anything you can throw, and then you can jump on it in the air. And so what I did was stand on a precise pixel, dash jump, because in order to clip inside any wall, you need to dash. Um, so you dash jump. Uh, very precise timing, and then you can clip into the wall and then wait for another of the what's it even called? The, b the balls? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the balls. <laughs> the balls of spider web, yeah. I guess. Wait for another one of those and then jump on mm. some of that. I'm extremely happy I got that. <laughs> Didn't expect that. So, so now we're back to meet the guy from the beginning of the game, and we gave him all these music boxes which he requested. Uh, and yeah, it turns out he's the bad guy, after yeah. all. Yeah. And the funny thing here is, because the music boxes work the same way as the upgrades, we only collected four of them yeah. in the game, yeah. but we see all five, um, because of course this cutscene is scripted that way, so... Yeah. As long as we get the last one, we're good. <laughs> and this is actually a really short fight, if you can... Pull it off. If you can, uh, that's a quick kill, and I'm gonna attempt to do it. Sometimes it can be tricky. Which is unfortunate, because this fight has the most. So the time soundtrack. will be up <laughs> on the fourth hit on his nose. Yeah. Um, on the fourth, not the third. Yeah. Yep. So time is coming up. And, and time. time. That was a good run, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good run. Good. Wow. 
That's pretty good. That is very good. With all the extra saves and stuff, that's yeah. pretty good. That's impressive. Because Damn. we, I automatically lose some extra time from doing the safety saves. Yeah. So that's I'm very happy with that run. Yeah, you should be. Yeah. So actually, um, let's have some shoutouts. Shoutouts to uh, Black SR. Currently, I think commentating this run on the Spanish restream. He's the current world record holder. I'm on the second place right now, and uh, he's been doing a lot of the strats. The hard out-of-bounds strats we saw in the gray tower levels, uh, mm. that was his.